Welcome to another episode of my pastry top 5 series here on YouTube. My name is Seb Peterson and I'm a pastry chef from Sweden. In this episode we are gonna go through my biggest inspirations on Instagram regarding pastries. Starting off with number five. This is actually a friend of mine from Sweden. His name is Pedros Cap. Wait. Pedros Cap. Pedros Cabranian. Sorry, bro. Pedros. I just call him Pedros. And this guy, he's the king of puff pastries. Pedros is a big inspiration of four puff pastries and. He helped me out with a lot of recipes and stuff, but he's just kicking it. He's just kicking everything with puff pastries. And he is the one that for me invented the cube and also like crazy things like, uh, I'm so terrible at puff pastries, I'm sorry, but Pedros, you inspire me to do puff pastries, but I'm terrible at it, so should, should probably hang out a little bit more with Pedros to become a better pastry chef at puff pastries. Number four, this is a guy from Malaysia. And I don't know what his specifics in because he does a lot of sugar sculpture, really cool chocolate creations and cakes. This guy is called Bread Pit. But he has a really cool personality into his pastries and I really admire people that don't have to put their signatures on there because they have their own style and you know as soon as you see them this is made from him and this is made from her. So really big up to Brett, he's doing a great job in Malaysia, keep the best up. Alright, on third place we have none less than butter, love and hard work. Also love the name. Super straightforward with the name and he creates so cool things. I really like the way that his Instagram's looking. So I think that this guy is specific in holidays and celebrations because always when there's a celebration, Valentine's, Easter coming up, he's doing a special type of packaging and I'm in love with this packing. It really looks so good. So it does these like send aways with a specific type of packing of an easter egg of a heart and you get a hammer branded with body love and hard work and you need to smash it to get it open and i think that is so so well designed and they have thinking of the whole way and yeah i can just hats off it's good i love it so on second place i was going to say one of my favorite pastry chefs but that's pretty obvious and this guy, he really has his own style for being minimalistic into pastries. And he's also a big inventor. He invents a lot of new cool designs. And I think that he always pushes a little bit further to the level. And he's all also open to share a lot of knowledge with you and with me and with everyone who's ever into his channel. So I'm of course talking about Frank. Frank Hasnut, big inspiration. I met him once, he's a very nice guy. If you haven't bought his book, you should definitely buy his book. Prisma is really good. Frank Hasnot is one of those guys that I always look into his type of design and I think that he's doing a great job with all of the classes and all of his work. So thank you Frank for sharing a lot of you with us. It's a big honor and yeah, thank you. So on top of the shelf, my biggest inspiration, my number one inspiration on Instagram, my daily watching is Chris Harvey. He's not the guy that creates incredibly cool inventing new stuff, but this guy is a genius of recipes and he shares a lot. And also as I am trying to tell my followers to don't only ask for recipes because if you don't know the recipe and can't handle the techniques, there's no need. But Chris is really down to earth with just the basic knowledge, with the small tips. And also if you have a question, you can ask him. 
I've asked Chris a lot of questions and I get the straight answer from him. And that for me is something really special because you get a different type of connection with guys like this. He is so humble. We were just talking about puppies. For real. We were texting about French Bulldog puppies. And thank you, Chris, so much for sharing all of the basics, all of your secret techniques. Even if it's about cleaning a pellet, he shares it because he thinks that that's not the key. That's not the key to take over Beverly Hills with your chocolates, but that's a key for you to progress and for you to take the right step in your own personal developing. So thank you guys and thank you, Chris, for sharing so much. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode here on my YouTube channel in the Pastry Top 5 series. Make sure to check out the previous episode about equipment so you don't end up like me and buy a lot of crappy stuff. Instead, go spend your money well on good equipment. And also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to these guys because you're gonna get a daily feed with good inspiration for your own progress in pastries. Thank you guys so much for watching.